Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 91 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm just going to show you three different ways you could copy the processing of one image to one or more other images. Now this first method is a way to copy the processing that you just did on an image to one other image. And we're looking at the Washington Monument and this image is totally fully processed, ready to roll. Right next to it in the film strip, if I just click on the very next image, I have an unprocessed version of the Washington Monument. Well, it's pretty much the same image. I just like to copy the processing from this one to that one. All I have to do is be on the, be clicked on the unprocessed image and hold in the keyboard shortcut if you have Windows of Alt Control V. If you have a Mac, it's Option Command V, and it will copy every setting I did to that previous image. Now you notice when I processed this, or when I copied the processing over to this, the image got crooked. That's because the original image was actually crooked, and I had to straighten it. So that is a shortcoming of this method. It copies everything. It will copy any straightening you did to the next from on one image to the next image it will copy any cropping you did it will copy any of the tools the the spot removal tool the uh, red eye removal tool the gradient the radial filter and the brush it will copy everything as is to the to that image so you may not want to use that method you may notice that the tip of the Washington Monument is dark that's because I put a gradient on this image. So you see the gradient. So on the next image, it copied that gradient as well. So it copies everything. Now, a, probably a better method, if you don't want to copy everything, now I'm going to reset this one, is click on the image that is fully processed. Now leave that one selected. Then this method too, it also works with more than one image. So you're clicked on the image that's fully processed. Now select the other images you want to copy that processing to. Make sure you leave the processed image selected as well. So in this case, I have two more images down here in the film strip. I'm clicked on the processed image. I'm going to hold the shift key in and click on that last image. So all three are selected. And most of you probably know this. You could go over to the right panel and down here at the bottom, there's a sync button. Click on that, and now we have a lot more control. I could copy everything if I want. I could copy just specific things. Now, for this instance, I'm not going to copy the crop. And um, let's say, just for the sake of argument, that's all I'm not going to copy. I'm copying everything else. And all I got to do is click Synchronize. And when you do that, every image now will be processed without the crop. Now, this one includes that graduated filter as well so that doesn't look as good so you may have to come in and do some minor touch-ups to each of the subsequent images so in this case I may want to get rid of that graduated filter and try to do something else with it now this last method a lot of people don't know about so I'm gonna reset this one and reset this one now we have two unprocessed images down here Let's say you have a lot of images, they're very similar. Let's say you just did a bunch of uh, a bunch of group pictures for a wedding or something like that. And the exposures are all the same and the framing's all the same and everything's straight. You don't have to worry about anything like that. And you just want to process them very quickly. Well, you could select them all. Click on this first unprocessed image. Click on that second unprocessed image or in how many you have. If you have 100, click on the, the hundredth one and have them all selected. Then down here where the sync button is, now we haven't done any processing yet, none at all. Where this sync button is, there's a little like toggle switch to the left. Put that in the up position and you'll see it says auto sync. Now any adjustments I do will be done to all of them. So I'm just going to like go crazy on this. So I'm going uh, highlights down, shadows open, we're going to put a ton of clarity on it, a ton of vibrance, ton of saturation, we're going to tone curve, add some contrast, and we're going to do some uh, whites, some blacks. I don't like what the whites did, bring the whites down. So, you know, stuff like that. But you could see now it also did those same exact adjustments to this image as well that I did to this one because auto sync is on. So any 
uh, to make it look crazy. Let's say exposures all the way down. Now look at that second one, exposures all the way down. So that's a way you could probably process a lot of images all at once. You could just go and make sure that auto sync toggle switch is on. This button says auto sync, and then you could just process one image and that processing will be duplicated on every image that is selected down in the film strip. So I hope that taught you something you didn't know. So different ways you could copy the processing from one image to multiple images. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.